Hey everyone, this is J.K. Whited from the Softball Rebellion, and uh, today I'm very excited. You know, we're fresh off the NPF championships right here, and uh, we got some great swings. And I wanted to highlight two of the best players in these two videos uh, for the website. And uh, this is Abby Cheek, uh, NPF Rookie of the Year, and uh, nine home runs, batted 378. So obviously an incredible year for a rookie at any level of any sport. And I wanted to show you guys kind of some things that she does um that uh that really jump out at me and especially you softball players and coaches watching a lot of times uh you know when you watch these girls play you gotta remember like they're obviously super athletic strong girls but they're also mechanically very efficient otherwise they wouldn't be able to hit you know girls throwing uh, as fast as as some of these uh athletes throw so um the one thing that jumps out at me right away is obviously you know you look at her stance you know she it stances her stances right she's got a slightly open front foot right here uh, you know, she's not squared up, uh, she, and, and, that, and that's kind of a personal preference of hers with that foot out to the side. She kind of starts a little bit of a hinge, and that's one of the differences between baseball and softball. Is in softball, because I think the reaction time, especially at this level, is so much fast, uh, shorter, um, that, that softball players tend to preset some pos positions and things that baseball players have a little bit more time uh, to get during the pitcher's load and, and release of the ball. So I think that's why you see a lot more softball players already preset hinged in as opposed to, you know, standing tall sometimes like baseball players do, that kind of thing. Uh, so And I like that, honestly. For most of my softball players, I like to see that. Now, as um, one thing I want to really, really highlight is one of the big, mo biggest questions that I get all the time from softball players especially is when do I need to start, you know, loading up? Well, notice that she's already moving. We already see Abby moving right here right it's not a lot but you can see that she's starting to turn that pull that back elbow back and kind of start to pick that leg up when when she, when the pitcher has the ball in the glove still so she hasn't even she hasn't even begun to pull that out right the ball's out of her glove somewhere out here in front now she you know she's she's in the middle of it so by the time she lets go right her foot's off the ground you know she's got the elbow pulled back you right? she's got even more of a hinge in now towards the catcher and back uh, so she's, you can't wait. That's the biggest thing. Like, especially at this level when you got girls in, in college as well, uh, when you see these, uh, players throw these balls, they're so fast and so, so little reaction time. You cannot wait, um, after the player throws the ball. This goes for baseball as well, but especially softball, you cannot wait for the ball to come out before you really start to engage your loading process. So that's the one thing I wanted to really highlight here, because that's always a question. When do I start my load? Well, it depends on who's pitching, but most of the time, you got to be moving by the time. This is 12 o'clock, so if we're going to call this 12 o'clock right here, right? And obviously this would be 6, 3, and 9. Now we don't have to worry about 9 or 3. But we want to think about by 12 o'clock, i got to have something going, right? Because if, if she gets to here and I haven't started, I might as well let the pitch go by. I'm not going to be ready. All right, so the thing that I want to comment about the load as well is notice how she's maintaining her hinge and her angles as she's pulling that elbow back and when she starts her swing you can really see it's happen if you really focus in on this part of her body okay that front hip uh, it's going to clear it's going to get out of there so if i zoom in you're going to see that front hip really start to get out when she commits that's that's her commitment right so she's not committed not committed not committed now now i'm going to go and as you can see the hips open up and you can see that barrel just like in baseball start to go this way so the hip opens up Barrel works down behind her, and you can see that happening at the same time. And again, it's not exactly the same time. Obviously, the hips pull first. There's a there's an order of events, but you can see how the hips opening up trigger the barrel back shoulder down. So by the time she's here, you can clearly see that her front shoulder is up, right? Her front shoulder's up, her back shoulder behind her is down, so that the barrel can go down and then come in behind the baseball, or excuse me, softball, and work up to the ball. All right, so you're going to see that all set up with angles and positioning, and she's turning the bat up. So now she's a little bit more rotated open. Notice so you can really very easily see that she is rotated open, you know, towards the field. Okay, so to say that you don't want to, you know, like to, to fly your hips open this way or fly your shoulders open this way is very incorrect. Now, we don't want to lean this way, so you can still she, see that she has this, this slight inward uh, angle with her spine so she's not leaning away from the plate right she's rotating away from the plate and rotating away from the plate as you can see at contact here um, also some key notes here obviously you can see very clear vision of the ball so her eyes and nose clearly see behind the ball her her, her nose isn't pointed at the third baseman or anything like that um, you're going to see 
that really nice upward turn to contact. Now, again, in softball, a little less dramatic than baseball, but still up. So you can see this tilt in her shoulders, all right, and how it matches her bat plane, right? And that's perfect. That's exactly why she's able to run this ball out and on, over the course of the year hit a large amount of home runs and hit over 300, over 350. It's because she, her shoulder plane matches her barrel plane all the time. So she's really able to square this ball up. Right, so you can see the that sweet spot just right there on the ball, right, and you can see how her shoulders match that bat plane. That's really, really good. And then she just kind of continues to let it go out, right? So once she kind of she kind of initiates that burst of speed back here behind her, she just lets all that energy go out and and through the ball. So you know, in softball, because the fences aren't dramatically bigger than you know as in, as in baseball when you jump up and level you know she doesn't really complete her turn here as much that back shoulder kind of stops and she lets the back go but again this ball is absolutely pummeled you know she's so strong and 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 technically very very efficient that you know she really doesn't have to do a lot post contact you know a lot of younger players who might not be uh, as strong yet need to may, maybe focus on getting all the way around you know this ball is is clearly out as you can see on this, you know, and this is kind of a bigger fence. You know, Lacey was telling me this is kind of actually kind of a bigger field. Uh, but both these uh, videos, you're going to see the ball almost reach that road right there. So obviously an impressive shot by by any means. So, yeah, this is a really good swing. Just great rotation behind the ball. Uh, we can't see the side view, but we can definitely tell she's kind of leaning back towards the catcher and umpire, kind of back away with that upper body, kind of, kind of see the, the angle leaning this way. And, again, you can see that hinge kind of in that allows her to get up and behind the ball. So if you're thinking about swinging down to this ball, well, you better hope that your timing is perfect. And even if you do hit it, you're going to cut it. We want that bat going up and through the ball in softball, just like in baseball. And Abby right here is showing why that's uh, imperative to do. So thanks a lot, guys, and uh, hope you enjoyed this video.